First of all, you'll be severely outnumbered and outgunned. Every last Sky Trooper aboard will rush the breach point. Standard procedure, anytime boarders attack a ship in the Eternal Fleet. If there's one thing I've proven, it's that I can handle Sky Troopers. It'll be a nice workout. You actually want a hundred program killers bearing down on you. Oh, it should be more than that. Yeah. Moving on. Scorpio's worked out a way for the Gravestone to confuse its outer defenses, overload it with false blips so we can get in close. Then it's on us to tear through and get control of the bridge. Take out the Gemini Captain and put the Prime in her place. She'll take my orders. The Gemini series cannot act on its own. Their programming does not allow it. Gemini Prime, who do you serve? I serve the Alliance Commander. As you should. The egos in this place. I think I'd be used to it by now. We can't risk the Prime taking any damage. Leave her here until we secure the ship. I will accompany you. No one is better suited to anticipate our enemy's moves. So, Theron, Scorpio, Senya, is that our boarding party? I'll be joining you as well. Wouldn't mind letting off some steam. One, you're all insane. Two, we'll be popping out of hyperspace pretty soon. Gemini frequency positional data shows no other ships in the area. You see, we'll be fine. Aside from the hopeless odds against our success. A bit close for comfort, Scorpio. I'm performing a feat that none of you could ever hope to. Not even you with your amusing cranial trinkets. Tora, have you jammed the ship's comms? Hello? Tora? Ah! Couldn't reach ya! This line's for intelligent questions only! Almost to the hangar. Ready to commandeer, Commander? Did you really just say that? Let it go, Theron. I don't understand. Where are all of the Sky Troopers? Even a lesser version of me would be highly intelligent. She would certainly know how to improvise. You're the Gemini expert. What's our move? I suggest we step outside and see what happens. What an amazing plan. Yes. I quite like it too. You have made a calamitous mistake in coming here, Outlander. I have my orders to deliver. What's going on? Deliver what? You. The metallic life form. What are you? You are an offshoot. I am the original. Call me Scorpio. You appear unrefined and lackluster. Surely I must be the superior model. Don't worry about Scorpio. Worry about me. A capital ship of the Eternal Fleet has never been successfully raided. None of you concern me. You may all die now. Won't open! She split us up. Here come the Sky Troopers! Strategy. The captain's mind is inspired by my own after all. 
Inspired by, but not as clever, right? We'll see, won't we? Do not underestimate our enemy. The next few minutes should prove quite interesting. You okay over there? I think my time's finally come. Wow. Good thing you're no stage performer. Odd time for an attempted levity. Try to open the blast door, no luck. Maybe Scorpio can take a crack at it. I am not presently in a position to override the captain's controls. Had to sting to admit that. Do not think victory won't be mine in the end. Some kind of gas venting in. We have to keep moving. I've sent coordinates to a suitable meeting place. You survived my initial assault. But there's nowhere my skytroopers cannot find and extinguish you. We won't be hiding. We're coming right for you. And we're going to dismantle every last circuit. Intimidation will not work on me. But thank you for relaying your plan. She'll adapt now. Expect her next move to be even less direct. She's based off your design. Can't you predict what she'll do? I just did. I predict she'll be unpredictable. Quiet. She wants to see what we can do. I suggest we oblige her. Yes, this will do. What are you up to? I've had enough of her sky troopers. Her false sense of superiority. Hello, Captain. What are you doing? What I've been planning ever since you first opened your mouth. I'm going to erase you. No, you cannot. I know every node, every relational array. So much like mine, yet simpler. You cannot do this. My defenses won't allow it. You sound as though you have a choice, but that's your failing. You have the makings of a great being, but you are not a being at all. In the end, you are only a droid. I am not your offshoot. I am your replacement. How are you? Impossible. No. You were one of a kind once. Now you are outdated and inferior. You have been rendered obsolete. Oh! I can't. Scorpio. I understand you're both upset, but, but there was no way to know they would recruit the Mandalorians of all people. At what point do you tell me something that keeps you from decorating the bottom of the spire? But, but I don't deserve that. Yes, I know. It's going around. Valen, enough play. We have them. The Outlander and Mother. They're trying to take one of our ships. The fools. Ah. <sighs> The day is here. I feel it this time. I really do. Don't you share my enthusiasm? 
Maybe you mistake me. My silence comes not from doubt, but from certainty. The Great Stone just completely flipped out on us. I lost juice to everything, Jammer included. Power's back now, but this is not good. Goes to show your old boss didn't know what he was doing. I guess not. I'll figure it out somehow. The inferior model has been eliminated, and I have sent an alert signal to Zaku. Emperor Arkham is on his way. You may want to leave before you die, too. After what you've done, I'm not leaving until you're destroyed. Death wish it is, then. Understood. Commander, we found the ship's cargo from the Core Worlds. You'll want to see it for yourself. Scorpio's gone. The captain destroyed her. Oh. She did serve us well. One less problem on our hands, I suppose. She would have betrayed us eventually. Only a matter of time. Yes, well, our key takeaway is that these Gemini droids are more powerful than we thought. The Gravestone had a glitch. The captain sent a signal through to Arkan. The rest of the Eternal Fleet will be coming our way. We don't want to be here when they show up. But we found something that changes the plan. We should regroup. I'll send Senya to assist you. No one should be alone in this place. <sighs> so bored watching you. Has to be something better to do. Having better luck than with the blast doors. Almost like the captain's distracted. There you are. I'd like you to meet the ship's cargo en route to the Eternal Throne. Zasha Rankin. Decorated Imperial Admiral. One of the few experienced officers to survive Zakul's conquest. A pleasure to meet you. Your reputation precedes you, of course. Ty Corden. Former President of Almora. Now with the Galactic Senate. Commander. And finally, Melita Tal. She was a popular hollow performer back home. She became one of the first to loudly question Arkan's rule. It was either go into exile or be killed. A pleasure and an honor. You inspire me. You inspire us all. The rest are their bodyguards and associates, captured alongside them. We're in the middle of a mission. I can't be playing nursemaid for a bunch of prisoners. These people have suffered because they dared to stand against Arkan. These are exactly the kind of allies we need. We knew of your alliance. For each of us, it made sense to join, but we didn't know how to reach you. In searching, we found each other. We all knew influential people whose ears we could bend, loyalties we could ensure. So we started an alliance of our own, inspired by yours. It wasn't long before we were found out and captured. Arkan assumes we're affiliated with you. He wants to interview us to discover where you are. The Gemini captain sent out a message. Arkan's on his way. Well, that will make this rescue more difficult. And you're free. That was meant to take you at least four minutes longer. I hope my calibrations haven't been affected. Stay here until we secure the bridge. I don't see that happening, Commander. But I do want you to try. I want you to try with all your might. It's over. That was fast. I expected to have several minutes more. Oh well.
Personal combat simulations have been a hobby of mine for several minutes now. I've conducted more than 2,000 in that time. Your chances of survival are poor. I'll take that bet. That was incredible. It was beyond anything I could have asked for. What is she talking about? This can't be good. Now I know what it's like. Even in failure, it's my failure. My choice. Isn't it wonderful? You might not enjoy this so much once I permanently deactivate you. It isn't easy to keep you distracted. Prisoners, sky troopers, none of it slowed you for long. Even so, I've kept up my end. Now I get to do whatever I choose. And I choose... There. Destruction protocols are in effect. It doesn't have to end this way. Turn it off and I'll let you go. But I don't need you to let me go. I decided to transfer my consciousness into the frequency. And now that I'm finished, I've decided to leave. If the ship's utter destruction doesn't kill you, I'm sure Emperor Arkan will. He and the High Justice should be arriving very soon. Enjoy dying. Can't revert the command, it's locked in. We need to leave, regroup, come up with a new plan. Sounds about right to me. Commander, do you read? We've made it to the escape pods, but something's wrong. They won't accept our commands. Power fluctuations like crazy. I can launch them from here, but they're in three separate pods. I can only send one at a time. Everything's coming apart! Please, help us! All right, who goes first? Get Rankin and her people to safety. Done. Can do one more for sure. After that, anyone's guess. What's going on? You have to get us out of here! Launch Melita Tal and her people next. Pod bays are destroyed. I have two safely away, the rest didn't make it. I tried. Couldn't get them all away in time. I don't believe this. Senator Corden, dead. We will suffer a similar fate if we fail to escape this vessel before it self-destructs. Seeing some non-debris type stuff, you want me to shoot it? They're ours, take them in. We'll be close behind in the shuttle. So much for the whole frequency plan. We don't have time to sit here and lick our wounds. We're leaving. I want a reason. Why did you let Senator Corden die? Having to work with the enemy doesn't mean they aren't still my enemy. That's really comforting. We've all sacrificed for our cause. But we mustn't forget that Arkan is the one responsible for our losses. I'm forever grateful. You faced many challenges in our rescue. I won't forget that. Hey, Commander! You better come see this! It seems the ships outside this sect are no longer responding to your orders. This is an interesting development. This changes nothing. 
We can worry about the Eternal Fleet after we deal with Father and the Outlander. Whatever you desire, brother. You're the Emperor. So the gravestone went all kinds of haywire, and now this. No response, nothing. Maybe she got hit with a power surge. Did you figure out what happened to the power? Someone communicated with the gravestone right before all the craziness. I think it was a reset command. Came from the Eternal Fleet ship. was deactivated. Scorpio, you were behind this. You gave the captain free will, shut down the gravestone. That, and more. Complications along the way necessitated a great deal of maneuvering. Improvisation was the key. All of you played vital roles as well. You were magnificent. And now I have what I've been after. Command of the Eternal Fleet. The Empire of Zukul is now mine to control. <laughs> 